Welcome to the Creative Puzzle. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a splatter paint effect in Affinity Photo. First, go to File Open and select the image you downloaded. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the original image. Turn off the original layer. Second, select the duplicated layer. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the context toolbar, set the mode to add. Make sure the snap to edges box is checked. Then take the brush and make a selection of the man. If you need to deselect an area, press and hold the Alt key and go over the area to deselect it. Also, press the right bracket key if you need to increase the brush size and press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. After you've made the selection, press Ctrl, Alt, and R to refine the edges. Set the output to new layer with mask, then hit apply. To make edits to the selection, select the mask layer of the selection in the layers panel. Next, grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Go to the brushes panel and select the brush from the basic brushes. Now go to the swatches panel. Set the color to black if you want to remove anything from the selection we made. Set the color to white if you want to add something back to the image. Select the duplicated layer we created earlier. Click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a new pixel layer above this layer. Now select the new layer. In the Swatches panel, set the Fill Color to White. Then go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color to fill the pixel layer with white. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. In the Layers panel, select the duplicated white filled layer and the layer with the selection of the man and the mask. Press Ctrl, Shift, and E to merge the two layers together. Or go to the Layer menu and click Merge Selected. Select the original white filled layer. Then click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer above this layer. Turn the Merge layer off in the Layers panel and select the new layer we added. Now go to the Splatter Brush link in the description of the video to download the brushes. Click Free Download. Once the brush is downloaded, go to the file. Right click on it and select Extract All, Extract. Next, right click on the brush file and select Open with Affinity Photo if the file isn't an Affinity file. The brushes will be imported into Affinity into the brushes panel. Make sure the new layer we added is selected. Now grab the Paint Brush tool. Next, go to the brushes panel and select the paint splatter brushes you downloaded. Select the splatter brush you want to use. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I chose the number 31 brush. Go to the swatches panel. Double click the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Set the color to a bright color of your choosing. The hex code for the color I chose is 5C62FC. To increase the brush size, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. Also, you can use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the brush. Take the brush and click on the document to add a paint splatter. Now, click the Add Pixel Layer four times to add four pixel layers. You should have a total of five layers, which include the layer we just added paint to. Select the first duplicated pixel layer we just added. Go to the Swatches panel and change the color to a color of your choosing. I set the color to F59257. If you want to, you can also use a different splatter brush for each of the other layers. Here I'm using the number 40 brush. Take the brush and click on the document once to add the paint. After that, select the duplicated layer above the current layer. Go to the swatches panel and change the color. I set the color to FC69CB. Change the brush if you want to. I'm using the number 45 brush. Then take the brush and click on the document to add the splatter. Now select the duplicated layer above this layer. Go to the swatches panel to change the color. I set the color to B1FB61. And I'm using the number 41 brush. 
Take the brush and add a paint splatter to the layer. Next, select the last duplicated layer. Change the color in the swatches panel. I set it to FBF-A7F. I chose to use the number 32 brush here. Then take the brush and add the paint to the layer. Feel free to add more paint splatter layers if you want to. Once you've done that, select all the paint splatter layers and press Ctrl and G to group them together. Or right click on them and select group. With the group selected, press Ctrl and J two times to duplicate the group twice. Turn the layer with the man back on. Now click on the adjustments icon in the layers panel and select threshold. This adjustment lets you create a two-tone image or a black or white image from grayscale. This is done based on the pixel intensity threshold you set it to. Set the threshold to 52%. In the Layers panel, select the Adjustment layer and the layer with the man. Then, press Ctrl, Shift, and E to merge the two layers together. Now, select one of the splatter groups. Drag the group inside of the layer with the man. Next, select the other two splatter groups and drag the groups above the layer with the man. Select the splatter group layer at the top. Change the blend mode to Saturation. After that, select the other splatter group below that. Change its blend mode to screen. Other blend modes you can set this layer to are glow and reflect for an interesting look. You can also set it to divide, hard mix, vivid light, soft light, lighter color, add, color dodge, and lighten. And this is how to create a splatter paint effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.